This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. The new overseer is insane. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help save us. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. The new overseer is insane. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help save us. I changed... Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but... I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of... crap. If you'll pardon my language. He wasn't the only one who didn't make it to morning. It was a horrible, horrible night. Believe it or not, it was Alan Mack who really stepped up in the crisis. Wally's dad really saved some lives and got named the new overseer for it. Then, just when some hoped he might open the door for good, he declared martial law and said the place would stay sealed off forever. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me.
Uh oh. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! Taylor, stop shooting, damn it! Don't you know enough to stay away? I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're gonna try something dangerous. I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Yes, you do. Damn, look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who wanna join. Competition's gonna be tough. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Catch you later. Maybe. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. 
And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door, and we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please be careful. Well, yes, but he may have done some terrible things, but he's still part of the vault, you know? Please, for my sake, don't hurt him. Evening. You've got to change the Overseer's mind. I never thought you'd be back. Well, look at who came crawling back home. What's the matter? Homesick? Outside, not everything it was cracked up to be? Or was it just that Daddy didn't want you anymore? Too bad. You're not wanted here. You're scum. Really? Because you weren't here to talk with the last Overseer. That's why I'm in charge now. So you'll excuse me if I don't trust you, and if I don't think you've got my vault's best interests at heart. Now I'll make this easy for you. You can walk away and let me handle the vault, or I can put you down like a rabid dog. Your choice, kid. You know what? I hear the last Overseer tried being reasonable about things, and you killed him for his efforts. I think I'll skip the reasonable thing and just kill you now.
Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. What have you done? What have you done? I just heard what you did. It was terrible, but I guess it had to be done. What's more, some of the people are saying I should be the new overseer. It's all so sudden. I'm sure you did everything you could to find another way. I know how stubborn he is. How stubborn he was. But you're right. We don't have time to grieve. The vault needs a leader now. That makes the rest of this even harder. I realize that, and I don't blame you. If you hadn't been here, maybe one of us would have done the same. You saved us. But that doesn't change the fact that you killed the Overseer in cold blood to do it. And I can't let that sort of thing stand here. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Good to see you. I never thought you'd be back. <laughs> 